Come with us now on a journey through time and space. Kept trying to tell you Sweet Baby hated you, but do you know who Sweet Baby hates the most? Well, anybody normal mostly, but also white males. Cis white males. You mean straight? White males. Young white males. Rich white males. Rip them up. Ooh, white males. Make them mad. Ugh, white males. You about to get a paraplegic. You about to get more diverse. You about to get paraplegic. Vitiligo inside my purse. Look at those wannabe titties. You about to need a wet nurse. Because she's not a real woman, but don't call attention or she'll end up in a hearse. These titties, these titties, ooh, tree fitty. Pay me, and I will be a woman. Pay me, and I will be a woman. Ooh, paraplegic too, vitiligo, you know what I do. They said, what about the Jews? What about the Jews, nigga? Ooh, ooh. Wait a minute now. You are in an arcade. You hold the coins. Where you choose to spend them will determine what machines stay and what machines go. Hello, beta testers. Thankfully, after a year of boring you with the same resources, people are finally starting to put things together. Would never imply that I'm the only one covering this, but some people needed to see it and hear it as only I could portray it. I feel the self-awareness associated with knowing that some people would only ever see one and only one of my videos is what separates me from them. What separates you from them is your ability to disagree with someone and have it not compromise the relationship instantly in a way where they need to be excommunicated because you're in some sort of cult. <laughs> That's how they work. So now, the racists have attempted to mass report someone over their entitled and on-brand misunderstanding of reality. Cabrutus, curator, shows everyone a literal list of the flops that Sweet Baby has worked on is enough to destroy them because if everyone hates what they've been telling the industry they should love, then their grift is over. Furthermore, the racism and sexism targeting and excluding heterosexual and specifically straight white men is exposed when the very entities within and defending Sweet Baby are the same monstrous loose pussy sluts that played victim after the last time they slept with everybody to help them threaten, deplatform, and, you know, silence anybody that they couldn't goad into taking their own life. Cancer Man Medicar stopped this manipulation with the same weapon I'm trying to equip you little bastards with, a mirror. You know the most famous clip of Anita Bitch Skeezian is the one where she's like, Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic, and you need to point it all out. They're the racists, they're the sexists, and they've been projecting on to you. As I made clear while organizing the ugly, we're well past the point of gaslighting now. Please, go watch Otaku's video summarizing who the Lego Butts entity working for Sweet Baby is. Maybe get into Medicare's internet aristocrat if you want to dig even deeper. Because what's finally out marks the beginning of what I'm calling Gamer Grift. The beauty of me focusing on the ugly women is it was easy to dismiss, to underestimate. Most of my informative videos have been instantly taken down. <laughs> but what I buried in songs was allowed to stay. After they got up my ass with that demonetization, it got a little bit easier for me to speak. A reverse effect. Not unlike the Stryzan that's launched it to where it is now, the triggered people climbing up Kyle's ass unfortunately got me to shake in it because I don't like that shit, not like them. But whatever hormone imbalance, whether medically induced or not, nah, had them dumb enough to give the shit that I was putting out there attention. You out of touch, lacking in self-awareness, moron. Because this shit 
strikes normal people as a bucket of what the fuck. All of the flops on a page is now powerful enough to destroy not just you, but that woke bullshit in the future. Forspoken. Saints Row, Sushi Squad, you can stop right there. They also work to make Spider-Man woke as well. The non-Middle Eastern version that, you know, because they included all of that woke shit in the ones we got. And that sold well. However, if people knew how little it innovated, how much less Venom and more Mary Jane they were gonna deliberately get because Brian Intihar is showing love with the message that he's rewriting another person's language to be racist. No thank you, white savior. Soy drenched ESG filator. You've got Larry Fink's hand up your ass and you're bending over and popping your mouth open for sweet fucking baby. We don't dislike this shit. We hate it. 80,000 following this curator? I, I'm not sure what you think is going to happen next. But speaking with the gamer grift in mind, if people weren't aware of why exactly they didn't like Spider-Man before, they're going to be aware now. Association with these racist sensitivity pussies who on many occasions have voiced their intent to destroy gaming the same way you saw yet another sweet baby entity thirsty for the personal account of a curator to be banned so that they'd lose control to their games since he loves them so much you know this is how a fucking witch might speak so it's been an honor to witness the willful idiot children and industry cocksuckers be flying monkeys and tongue the balls of men for most of their life turned women for some of their life posing and insane enough to think that they know what's best for fucking video games. It's safe for normies to talk about this shit now and by safe I mean beneficial to their pockets. Cause there's views in it for them and nigga that works for me. If it means showcasing who specifically is behind deliberately ruining games, so I'll summarize like a straight man for you. Loose pussy sluts slurp their way into the circles of dorks with reddit admin energy. They bend the media in their favor and convince the industry that pretty women and big breasts are extremely problematic and they're offended, so everybody gotta be offended, so that makes them offensive in general. You heard me right, beta tester. You know the gaming industry? The one whose most popular game is named after a felony, but they saying shit like, Everything sucks, huh? Everything's right, huh? Everything's a homophobic, and if you're done, to point it out. Jesus fucking Christ. And even though over time, many of these grifters lost people enough money to be shown the door, despite the children claiming, Hey, yo, school, they be out here cooking. That sushi squad lit, bussin', oh god, for real, Liddy, what a banger, shut the fuck up, staring respectfully with your safe horny slop, these, oh my god, and you giving them, you're not just mocking them, that's what they deserve. The untalented cooks at Sweet Baby stuck their unwashed hands in so many spoiled broths that a simple image of the illegal abortions that they're calling video games is enough to trigger them. Couldn't resist mocking me for my boring ass fucking content, right? That I'm boring my subscribers with because I'm trying to load them up with the fucking information, but even that was just too much. Nigga, you haven't seen anybody firing on cylinders, creative, imaginative, talented, skilled because they flee from you. You're fucking nobody. And I assess that based on your capacity. You are envious. You have no idea. Y'all mad? Y'all mad, bitch? No. You're not mad. You haven't seen mad. But some of you must have sustained brain damage in that echo and gas chamber that I like to refer to as because you hot box in the farts. The bizarre thing again is a month ago when you saw them come at me and people actually came out. I love and appreciate you. Thank you again for liking and commenting and pushing all of this up. You know, 80,000 subscribers. I shouldn't have that. It's all you. Thank you. 
but they knew public sentiment towards them, but they still couldn't restrain themselves and shut up. What have I been saying in my last videos? Go walk, go back and watch them. It's fine wine now, baby. I kept saying how they're going to eat each other alive because they're so selfish. I, you know, let it play out. During Hogwarts, like, nah, bitch, you better not say that, man. So, so as a Jamaican born man, an American citizen, I'm unfortunately not a bleeding heart hippie pussy that would ever find amusement unironically uttering a phrase like touch grass. I'm Jamaican. I smoke that and I touch titty. So it was real easy for me to see through all of this flat chest ugly bitch shit and I hope that you treat it like a superpower as well man because they've been trying to beat you down. But being yourself was all it took to step right over that shit. You know this part of the boondocks where like, you know, somebody get their shoes stepped on and go, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't validate them. They're seeking that attention. And we're going to decide what kind of attention they're going to get. You know what I'm saying? They're going to break them off a piece of this shit. I'm so proud of you guys. Good, good job, everybody. The fun part now is you joining my Discord and putting things in the things you think I should see uh, room because the most important part of what happens now is watching people slowly come to cover it. Understanding that if they don't, what it means and where it places them. Are you excited in that way? It's fucked up that I'm more excited about this than maybe, oh, Dragon's Dog must come in all these other stupid ass games I worked for. But this is, this is what is fucking exciting. So I love you. I'll talk to you soon. But remember, this is a movement now. It's honestly hilarious that they're this upset when they've been silencing and injecting the message for a decade. But the second we make a move, the knee-jerk reaction is silence them, get him off with his head. But did you hear that Dragon's Dogma has prostitutes in it? Now we are talking. Someone get on my wish list and send me a computer so I can play with the mods, baby. It's about them thang thangs, you know what I'm saying? Our curator is the hero we needed right now, but you may be the next hero. There will always be another sweet baby. There will always be ESGs by another name. And we need each other's help. Because if we were just listening to shills, not knowing that they were shills, we would be exactly where sweet baby wants us. Y'all got an opportunity here. Use it or lose it.